guys hi for the second round of 5x5. Five five. I'm Linus and I'm here with Melodrama. Hello everyone. Um, so today we're talking with Mel a little bit about some of the things that she does outside of Derby, which is comedy. Ah, yes, comedy. Speaking, generally. First thing I should say is sometimes people get my name wrong and I know that there's going to be some information later on about some stuff that I did uh, back in October and they actually put my name down as Mel De Silva. But just to be clear, my name, my full name is Melodrama De Silva O'Drama and we are the O'Dramas from, um, I was going to say humorous, but it's not humorous, it's Limerick in Ireland. Okay, I didn't know that, Mel. That's, yep. that's really interesting information. Yep. I'm, I'm glad that I now know where you come from. That is where I come from. That is, uh, that is who my people are. Yeah. Yes. Eh, I yeah. should have known. Yeah. You, you're punny all the time. Absolutely. <laughs> so, um, one of the things that Melodrama did, and one of the things that I was privileged to be a part of, was a wonderful comedy festival in October of last year. Yes. Mel, do you want to tell us a little bit about what you yeah. did? Yeah. Yep. So, um, in sometime around July, the beginning of July, I managed to, um, I was very lucky to win a scholarship um, with uh, the employment agency called WISE. Um, if, if you're ever looking to join an employment agency, I reckon it should be wise because they were absolutely fantastic. The way they treated the people that were involved in the program was absolutely gold. Um, so they call that uh, Comedy for Change or, and it was through a company from Canada. I'm not sure if you're familiar um, with the Canadians. Uh, I think it's actually pronounced Canada. Canada. But Canada. I might be wrong. I, 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 right. I, my, I, I, I've only lived there for 26 Six years? Yeah, yeah, Canadian. Yeah, Canadian. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's so, tundra. So, so stand up for mental health is a program that that's uh, trying to smash the stigma around um, mental health issues, mental illnesses, um, whatever condition it is of the mind that you know you might want to talk about. So there, I learned how to do stand up comedy. The only real criteria for the course was that you were crazy, and um, I'm lucky enough to be really quite crazy. So. In the real sense, not in that colloquial, let's just put a word in there sense. In the diagnose. In the diagnose, taking tons of medication, really quite sick sense. So um, I managed to, um, or all the comics managed to use that as the basis of our material for our very, very first uh, stand-up comedy routines. And that was, um, it was incredible to have a debut at the Sydney Town Hall in front of 700 people, of which, of course, you were one. Yeah, it was um, amazing to watch. It, you're never going to have a debut that big, and I don't think you're ever going to have a second show that's that big. So it was a bit problematic in that sense that it's all <laughs> downhill from here. Uh, you have a wonderful opportunity, though, at 5x5 Five Five to get yes. your name out there as well. And we're always here for our commentators. We love them. They make the game uh, a little bit more fun and lively at times with their uh, added additional commentary. Our banter. The banter. Mm. It definitely helps. Mm. Yes, of course. And I would encourage anyone um, who wanted to have a go at that sort of stuff, whether it be just doing sponsorship reads or coming along and learning how to commentate a game, or if anyone wants to learn how to do stand-up comedy, if you're someone who identifies as having a mental health issue, um, then certainly stand up for mental health of the people to get in contact with. The dude that runs it, um, he's Canadian, from Canada. Yeah. Um, he's an absolute sweetie and he has lots and lots of information to share. Um, so check it out. Check out the website, standupformentalhealth.com. Um, yeah. Sometimes Derby lets you see things that shouldn't be seen. <laughs> I don't know if you caught that in the background. Um, but, yeah, I would recommend that anyone who wants to have a go, have a go. The worst thing that can happen is that someone comes into the audience and throws poo at you, I guess. That you didn't have bad. anything thrown at you during not, yours, I, did no you? No underpants. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I forgot to bring my extra pair for Mel and, to be uh, thrown. Extra pair. Going your next you comic. always have to have Please an emergency pair of underpants, Mel. Mel. underpants? Yes! There are, there are mishaps on the belt line sometimes when your teammates decide that they're going to grab your shorts. We all look forward to those moments, Lioness. That's why I always wear underpants. All right, then. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Melodrama, for being with us today. My we, pleasure. We uh, really appreciate all that you do for the sport and Thank you. Um, all of your help at Inner West as well. We, we love having you as Excellent. part of our team. Thank so. you so much, Lioness. Thanks, guys, and have a great day watching the rest of Derby.